Good morning, YouTube. It is Friday morning, and welcome back to the channel where we are building one of the coolest CR250 Supermotos you'll probably ever see. Today, we're gonna be rebuilding the forks. If you guys remember, these forks have some pretty nasty scratches on the lower tubes. I'm gonna try to show you guys again. You can see this one is definitely worse. So I'm going to be using some emery cloth to sand the lower fork tubes and try to smooth those scratches out. Now that I have everything disassembled, it's time to clean all these parts up. And I'm actually going to be replacing every single seal and bushing that you possibly could for this whole fork setup. Also going to be sanding this lower tube using fine grit emery cloth. We got this lower fork tube cleaned up good, so now I'm gonna sand it. And I'm definitely a little nervous to do that, but everyone says it's gonna work. Got my fine grit right here, and I'm gonna be sanding around instead of up and down. So this definitely worked. It feels perfect now.
I don't know why, but I thought that this seal driver for my 450 would work for these shocks as well, even though those are a 49 millimeter. So instead of waiting, I went and bought a saw and some pipe, and I'm gonna try to make my own seal driver. So specifically for this bike, since it's going to be a supermoto, I'm changing up a couple things. I'm going to use 10 weight oil instead of 5 weight, which is what I usually use in my motocross bike. And I'm also going to add the maximum amount of fork oil to the outer fork tubes, which is around 420 cc's. And this combined with the little bit thicker fluid should help my forks be a little bit stiffer since I'm going to be riding at higher speeds and on the street. Well, I realized after completely assembling the fork that I forgot to put a stop washer inside and I had to take it complete, I'm not completely, but about halfway back down and put that washer back in. So that was a hard lesson. All right, actually that just took me like 10 minutes. So I got the washer back on, this is where it's supposed to go. And now I can put it back together. But that really wasn't that bad. Since I actually know what I'm doing now, I'm gonna bust this thing out real quick. Here's a good look at the forks all finished up, nice and fresh. I'm very happy with how the lower tubes cleaned up. All right, so you guys saw the forks. They look amazing. I'm super happy with them. It's gonna look great on the bike. And I definitely was able to fix those scratches in the lower tubes. So if you guys are still here, I got some really cool parts that I'm about to show you and a couple I'm gonna unbox. Check it out guys. I went ahead and bought a complete crankshaft. I just figured everything I'm doing to the bike, all the money I've spent on it, I might as well go ahead and replace the crank. So let's check this baby out. Hell yeah, it's gonna be super fresh. All right, so I was gonna get a factory fatty until I changed my mind. 
last minute. And I just got the regular fatty. So with the factory fatty, since it doesn't have a nice finish like this, it's gonna rust much easier and I just think this is gonna look better for longer on the bike. More horsepower, check. All right, this one I am excited about. Oh yeah. Wow. Seriously, this thing looks so good in person. Man, the quality on this is incredible. It's gonna look so good on the bike. All right. Lots of stuff in here. Fresh. New exhaust flange. Ooh. I got this high pressure radiator cap from Tusk and uh, it even has a temperature display on it. So I definitely wouldn't run this on my motocross bike, but I think it'll be pretty cool and helpful for my supermoto just to see how hot it's running when I'm sitting in traffic and whatnot. Throttle tube. Here's a hydraulic brake switch. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to put this on. Nice. New crank bearings. Here's a whole bunch of dowel pins for the engine. Help it go together nice. So I'm also gonna be replacing all the uh, other bearings in the engine. So I inspected the other bearings besides the main crank bearings, so all these ones in the transmission and whatnot. And I just made the decision that I'm gonna replace them all. They don't feel 100% smooth and have a little bit of grinding action. So at this point, I have ordered all the parts that I need to finish the rest of the bike. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start to rebuild the carburetor next. I'm still waiting on getting a rear shock spring back. Uh, it's getting powder coated. That's a, was gonna tell you guys about that earlier, but I'm getting so excited. I pretty much think about riding this bike every day. So I wanna get it done as soon as possible, but I learned a lot about not only rebuilding, but almost restoring a bike because I've had to do every single thing you could possibly imagine to this bike. And it's made me realize how long these projects take and it definitely makes me appreciate the bike a lot. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I definitely have fun making these videos and make sure to subscribe if you're not already to see this bike get finished. And in the next video, I'm gonna be rebuilding the carburetor. So stay tuned for that in a few days.